Um, so how many people here are on Snapchat? Now, let's keep the hands up if you're on it for personal use. Great. And how many people are on it for your brand? Okay, just, just us. So we're going to make this educational. Okay, so um, I'm going to walk through a case study of how Grubhub uses Snapchat. Um, Jeff's going to go into more of a detail about what is Snapchat and how you can use it for your brand. Um, so we can go on to the next slide. Um, so for Grubhub, what, in case you guys don't know, um, hum, oh, I have the clicker. Never mind. Thank you. Ignore me. Um, okay. So Grubhub, I don't know if how many people in this room are familiar with Grubhub. It's an online um, food delivery system. Basically, we connect hungry diners with food. Um, so it's very addicting. Um, we're also the parent company of Seamless for those New Yorkers in the house who are addicted to Seamless. Yeah, of course. Um, but today we're going to talk about Grubhub because that's the brand that's on Snapchat. Um, so just a few things when you think about Snapchat for tools, and Jeff will go into these in a little bit more detail, is fortunately right now it's just the Snapchat uh, native app, so it's very time-consuming. Um, Snap Hack is another thing that you can do to upload photos. When you get to be too big of a brand, it will crash. It will slow you down, so just keep in mind for that. So when you're starting out, it will work. Um, a tripod is actually really good, too. Just, it's a simple thing to think of, but just don't ignore it. It'll help keep your photos a little bit more stable. Photoshop is an also a nice hack, especially when you're using Snap Hack. You can upload your photos to Snapchat that way. And then just think of things that represent your brand that you can bring into your photos. For us, it's food suits and things like that. And then just food for thought is Snapchat is very, very labor intensive. Um, you don't have to snap every single day. We don't. We snap maybe once a week, sometimes every other week. Um, so just know going in how often you actually want to do it. But when you do, it's very labor intensive because you have to actually snap each individual person or you can launch a story that's going to take about or it's going to just launch it and you don't have to snap to each individual person. Um, it also wants spreads across platforms. So make sure you're monitoring that when you post it. I am a producer creative there, and I work on our marketing communications department. So at Mashable, we have an integrated marketing team, which is a blast to work for. Um, we do not only stuff like what I do, and I'll go into a little bit of that, but also work with events, communications, internal comms, um, and having that sort of integrated team is one thing that makes what I do uh, so much easier and such a pleasure every day to come to work. So um, you can definitely hit me up on the internet if you have any questions. Um, the Beff has been my screen name since second grade. So that's every platform you can find me on. Another great way we use uh, Instagram Direct is to get feedback. So when we um, get followers in the morning in batches of 15, we send out a thank you for following us Instagram Direct that uh, showcases a little of what we did on Instagram and asks people to tell us uh, what they would like to see on our platform. And we've used that feedback to iterate uh, on what we put out there. Um, and that's something that's been working well. We used to do an unfollow one uh, that to sort of grab people like when you unsubscribe from an email list and ask you why. Uh, we didn't get as much interaction on that, so we don't do it anymore. But um, it's a cool way to sort of prompt people to feel like they're in a safer space to give you feedback.